great time to curl up with a good book, and there are a ton of new releases. So here to help us choose what to read is best-selling author Harlan Coben. Of course, he is known around the world for his more than 35, look what we did today, you like wow, this? 35 nice. mystery and thriller novels, several of which, by the way, have been turned into hit shows. His latest adaptation, Fool Me Once, was just named Netflix's most watched show of 2024 Congratulations. so far. That is amazing. Well, thank you, guys. Right? Thank you. So Bravo. good to be back here. Nice so now that I've just shared all these accolades, we're just going to add one more. I think this is so cool that you are, well, you have an announcement. You're teaming up with Reese Witherspoon. Yep. And you guys are co-writing a book? Yeah, we're doing a suspense thriller together. Reese so came to me with an idea, and I'm always, like, a little wary. Yeah. I'm like, wow, that's really good. And, like, immediately I was like, oh, we could do this? And she's like, and we can do that? And we, te I mean, she might text me right now. It's part <laughs> yeah. of it. We go back and forth all the time on how to make the story even better. So and She's exciting. so great. Is there a timeline for that, or? We're coming out in October. Yeah, oh, we'll wow. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're what moving a collaboration. Along. It's yeah. October now. That's well, October. Oh, next year. <laughs> <laughs> like, tomorrow. It's not right? that fast. You're fast. <laughs> um, so it's, since we were just talking about your show on Netflix, yeah. let's talk about your first recommendation for book to screen. Yes, well, there's a new adaptation of Salem's Lot by Stephen King. I mean, this is an obvious pick, an old pick, but it's Halloween. They wanted a scary one. You, and this one, oh my God, this is so scary. You won't look out your bedroom window for a six months at least after you read wow. it. I read it first time when I was in college. And I'm only going to watch this adaptation if the lights are on, it's daytime, and Al Roker's <laughs> holding my hand. Other than that, I am not, it's not going to be that scary. But it's a great book. It's one of Stephen King's best it's an uh, one, i think it's the second book okay. and uh you will just if you really want to be terrified and have mm. really fun with it it's a beautiful story too it's really what cool. if i don't want to be terrified i just <laughs> want a cozy read with a cup of tea that is not a stephen king novel well, what, here, what do i do we'll prescribe you a cat by siori shida <laughs> this is a japanese book it's adorable it's a fable story about five people who go to a special hidden clinic medical clinic for help and they're prescribed by the doctor a cat <laughs> and the okay. cat changes their life in really cool, kind of fun ways mm, okay. and, and, and adds to their soul. So it's really adorable. All right, what about this next one here? Kelly Bishop's The Gilmore Girl, one of the great actresses. I originally saw her in Chorus Line playing Sheila. Oh, she won wow. a Tony Award years ago. Then, of course, she's known mostly for The Gilmore Girls. This is her life story. I was friends with her husband who passed away, Lee Leonard. It was just a joy. I also recommend an audio version of this because wow. she, Kelly actually she reads you the book. It. Very gripping. You'll really enjoy it, I think. In wow. old That's Hollywood, what a career she's had. I love that. That's great. Yeah. All right, this next one you say you'll never listen to music the same after this book. Yeah, I heard there was a secret chord. Uh, by, Dan, uh, by David uh, Levitin. Um, okay. This is basically how music creates creativity, how it changes our life, and mostly how it actually heals us. Mm. It actually can be used as medicine. We all kind of know this, I right? Know, yeah. We all intuitively know how that works. So this is a really cool study, and it's actually a fast read mm. about the science behind how music can actually change our lives and improve our health. You guys do a lot of segments mm -hmm. yeah. on improving your health. We don't necessarily think that music can do it too. I agree. And David I does it my here. first hour in music or in, in school was always banned. Yeah. And I just feel like in some ways it got my juices flowing. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? To yeah. learn yeah. And, for a good day. Yeah. I'm have no musical ability whatsoever, but I, I get the healing power. Yeah, I was just at does. Springsteen and Asbury Park. Nice. Yeah. That's, That's the just healing just power. It's a concert That's the how you feel power. when you leave a concert. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But speaking of the kids in band, you've got something for the young readers. <laughs> yes. This is like a an historical adventure. Yes, the Bletchley Riddle by Ruta uh, Sepedius and uh, Stephen Shankin. Okay. So these two are two wonderful kid lip. This is middle school, but it can be read by older kids. And it is historical. It's World War II. They're breaking codes. It's got spies. It's got ciphers. It's got danger. It's an adventure. They're siblings, and it, right? Are they yes, there's 19-year-old with his 14-year-old eccentric sister. And it's just really fun. But you'll also learn a lot. Not that I, you know, reading can be for fun and reading, learning. Mm -hmm. But you will actually learn quite a bit about, remember, Alan, Alan Turing and, and the yeah. Bletchley Park. Mm -hmm. This takes place there. And they're both historically wonderful writers. So so this is quite accurate. Mm. And what age is that? that? This is middle school, I would okay. say. But you could read it a little older. You could, I mean, I read it and really enjoyed right, it. Right. You know, you read it very, very quickly, and uh, I think you'll enjoy that as well. You just make me want to read more and more and more. I, I have to fi find time and remind yeah. myself to just sack it up. Wait, we have some time. You should just text Reese right now. Well, you know what? <laughs> and just make sure I, and just tell her we want you guys to both come back in October. When uh, we will, well, we'll definitely will. I hope.
Globe, um, through the Queen's Reading Room um, recently in, in England, Wait, came are up you, with the study. You're not even kidding right now. No, I'm not. Okay. Well, well, I just want to say that she did a study that said if you read even five minutes a day of a book, put your phones down, not right. your phones, it improves your mental health, um, gives you more clarity, and will also um, increase your empathy. So everybody, just I read five minutes a day huh. before you go to bed. Any of these books or any other. I love wow. that. And so it actually proved it now through science that it will improve your mental health and, and your mood by reading just five minutes a day before you go to sleep. So Thank you, Dr. Read longer. Harlan. There you go. Well, yeah. try. With or without that's right. You didn't have a medical <laughs> uh, course person on this, this hour, I know. Yeah. So I figured I'd help you know, you, you know what I thought I you were that, saying? Though. I thought you were saying when you were in the Queen's Reading Room, she said, no, no, no. So, blah, I'm blah, sorry. blah. It's an organization so called like, <laughs> the Queen's Drop Reading Room. that in your life. One day I was chilling with the Queen. <laughs> she told me. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah. Right. You guys are the Queens. Come on. We all know that. Thank you very much. And Reese, too. When you guys come back in October. Over. There you go. To see all of Harlan's book picks, head to today.com slash books. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.